and on verily the sky is rid with angels singing. Does this have Jesus, the Messiah, was born? His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, but before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through the prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child, she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. Today's scripture mentions a 700-year-old quote from the prophet Isaiah that includes three parts. For those of us who are very familiar with the Christmas story, we might forget that the first part of the prophecy, a virgin getting pregnant, is, well, not normal at all. It's not just unusual. It is not possible for a virgin to conceive a child with no other person or parts involved. When normally impossible things happen, we call these miracles. A miracle is an extraordinary event in the physical world that surpasses all known natural powers and can be explained by nothing or no one other than God. The second part of the prophecy, she will give birth to a son, is very normal. So normal, in fact, that it is considered an ordinary human experience. In every time and place, babies are born every day to mothers. The third part of the prophecy, they will call him Emmanuel, God is with us, ties the first two parts together. God has come to us in an extraordinary, miraculous way, and at the same time, in an ordinary, everyday way. Where these two ways intersect, we encounter Emmanuel, God is with us. Jesus is not just God. Jesus is not just human. In Jesus, Emmanuel, God is present to us and says, Here I am. We are invited to respond to the God who created all that there is, who has come close to be with us with a simple prayer of surrender, to be present, passionate, attentive, and available to God as we say, Here I am. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hosanna in excelsis.